Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, the world building series. Today, we're gonna focus on constructing. Constructing, yeah, I should be singing words from now on. Okay, so um, guy, you guys said a couple of um, interesting things in the comment section. One of them that uh, I should stop doing the nights. I I will stop doing the nights. I will leave the nights on. I won't record during the nights. So I'm going to do jump cuts and edits. So we don't do the night gaming just because of the visuals. I 100% agree with that. And... Um, um, uh, the only reason why I'm doing the Knights is because Tats suggested it and he was right. The different mechanics, different everything, it's just that the videos, when you're making the YouTube video, the Knights are pain in the rear end. Okay, um, also the second thing with auto building the wires and stuff, uh, I will do from now on the... I'll do the... Um, auto build if we have any problems with that I will do my best not to do auto build but I won't uh, shy away from doing the auto build when we need it okay um, what do we have uh, try, train the, okay red dog um, there's a we're gonna try to uh, cover this real quickly so we have the uh, we have the border crossing where our materials come from and we have the uh, let's say storage area here where our materials are going to um, I my my opinion like is like this if you build this uh, train depot or distribution office anywhere between the source or the or the destination of your materials you will um, you will have to it doesn't really matter the distance is the same because trains need to go to the source need to go to the destination and they always 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 return to the uh, to the distribution office train distribution office so it doesn't really matter where on the line between those two the uh, delivery or distribution office is it will always do the same length path now the benefit of having distribution office close to the border is that they're gonna pick up the materials sooner and then deliver it straight away and then waste time going back while you have your materials stored stored away the opposite if we have a distribution office here next to our city um, they will waste their time going to get the materials then deliver materials and then only for the last second of actually the whole process the train is going to have the uh, going back to the distribution office um, uh, part of far part of the trip so from my point of view it's the did i just move this one here i think i did uh only uh, going back is gonna be like uh, the the last part of the trip um so uh, my point of view is that it doesn't matter where distribution office is as long as it's working the distances will be the same as long as it's um somewhere in between the source and the destination um uh, the positives of being it close to destination is less infrastructure because you don't need the electricity on the other side because i think you need electricity for these bad boys and fire departments and all that stuff especially if your city is a little bit further away from the um from the border crossing so i think it doesn't really matter where distribution office is as long as it's um, the within uh, in between the destination and the source Okay, uh, going on, <clears throat> uh, you guys said that uh, repairing auto building uh, electrical wires is um, uh, is okay, that I should be doing this in auto build and I will try to do it, we'll see, I'll try to do it in the, if I need to fix something, like if I cut the cable here, uh, there's no way of us rebuilding it, so I, I will be auto building it because I don't want to destroy the whole cable. Uh, because uh, it needs to have a road access on one side in order to fix the cable if we break it. So uh, if I'm breaking and doing this uh, visual cosmetics uh, like with the roads, I will be um, I will be demolishing the uh, cables and rebuilding them on auto build. Right. So um, any other comments I would like to uh, address? Coffee time. Like I said, a couple of you said that um, 
that I should stop doing the day night cycle or at least uh, I will try to record not to record during night I will jump cut until the morning maybe it's gonna be nice mornings that we're gonna see I think it could be nice visuals but um, um, but I think I'm gonna keep the night uh, off screen um, right, and Weltir said that he's using the snapping when building electrical wires, they look great, and I think I'm gonna try to do this as well. Uh, okay, mods in the game. Uh, yeah, uh, I think this is uh, the, the thing that we never gonna agree on. I love the mods, I love the mods. Like, you cannot not love the game, but I love the more mods more than the game, and I will try to defend them uh, um, all the time, so... From my point of view, it's um, I think the mods are the ones that make the game. Um, okay, so we have. I wanted to start doing something. So let's let's go and try to do it properly this time. Road construction. There we go. Uh, wow. Okay. You know, I should not watch the keyboard when I'm typing. I'm just gonna call it road. Uh, this is gonna be road construction office and we have the classic thing that we have around here we're gonna have dumper trucks we're gonna have the we're gonna start building new roads we need to expand the existing roads we need to plan for new neighborhoods and the roads are gonna be the key in this case um i think we have two big offices uh, i think we're gonna need big ones let's go with um road first so what do we need uh roads need flatbed trucks or open hull trucks unfortunately we only have well we said this is seven tons excavators uh this one is uh, uh, 11 tons this modded one is four tons i'm thinking if these excavators well you know what we don't need excavators for uh we don't need excavators for roads uh we can we need the um we need the bulldozers uh, should I go for blue ones? Let's go for blue ones and make them red. One, two, three, four. Um, deliver with vehicles. So we're gonna go for um, open hulls and we're gonna go for small Škodas. I think they can... What about the T's? Let's go for T's. Tatras. Four Tatras and then we need crap load of dumper trucks. Am I missing something? I'm gonna go for Tatras because uh, we already started with Tatras. Let's go for these. I'm pretty sure that this is more or less what we're gonna need. Is there anything on the auto search? Yes. Three kilometers, roads, no footpaths, factory connections, yes. And there we go. This is what we're gonna need to build with this. Uh, and I'm gonna stop importing fuel. I will let them fuel on the... Did I clear it? Yeah, yeah. I cleared it. They're just going to go and uh, um, load up here. Okay, we have, I think, evening coming in. I'm going to go and start sourcing things. Uh, sourcing gravel, sourcing asphalt. Uh, I think we're missing bitumen. We're going to go and focus on bitumen. We have a night coming in. Uh, can we can we do any of these? No, I think I'm going to have to go for a new truck. That's going to be the oil tank. We're going to go for which one? A small one. Uh, Zubr, 7.5 tons. Gaz, 2.5 tons. Uh, Zubr, let's go with Zubr. Uh, night is falling. Let's see how Leaky is going to do this. I'm going to speed the time up. And uh, actually, it's still uh, dusk. So I think it'll still be fine. Go here load bitumen whoa, and go here and bitumen wait until on oh no don't wait until unload because uh we need you okay uh let's do a jump cut right so um here a short jump cut this is a new morning i populated both of the uh, vehicle construction offices here sorry vehicle construction offices so we have a groundwork with the dumper trucks we have uh, eight dumper trucks eight uh, cement mixers we have four excavators and four flatbed trucks we have the second one here this is the groundwork so this is the construction office we need a couple of covered hulls i'm gonna go for bigger ones initially uh covered hulls one two there we go and that's that's about it I think we're gonna have uh, i just need to assign it so the groundwork should be fine i think it should be fine um uh i need to assign the uh so here we assigned all the uh construction or everything that we need we don't need electrical components uh, we don't need workers workers are going to be separate in the bus construction office or i'm going to go for footpath actually 
Right, so uh, I'm gonna go and assign some of the construction area here. Here we go. And remove uh, steel. I think I need to remove steel. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. This is actually all of it. Steel and bricks. We need to remove... Wait, I, I, I assigned it here. Yeah, yeah, this is the problem. I did assign all of these here and they don't belong here. Yeah, there we go. They just needed to do the groundwork itself. That, that's fine. So we have everything assigned here from covered hull to open hull and the workers. No, I'm going to have the separate bus construction office, which is going to be as well the... Uh, Footpath construction office. Okay, let's do and build that. I did build one technical services. I hope that they're gonna be cleaning a lot. I only put four vehicles here. Uh, I might have to do for a bigger one, uh, or let, let's go for a second one over here across the um, across the uh, fuel station. There, yeah, that, that's that should be fine. So let's build auto build one of them. Uh, we're gonna go for technical services. That would be here. Um, we're gonna talk about technical services in a second. Right, so we have the... Uh, I'm gonna go for Robs' one here. Um, reasons? Uh, there is a, actually a reason behind this. I wanted to start talk with you guys. Again, uh, we are just covering uh, something that we already covered before. Um, we're gonna just uh, do it again. What do you think about these? Uh, this railroad here, I don't know where it is going. I don't know if I'm gonna be even using this railroad. I'm gonna leaving it because I think it's a great thing to have. This... Um, uh, uh, wasted railroad. I, it, there's a lot of these abandoned railroads around the world, and especially in the ex communist countries. Communist countries. Uh, let me just do this. Mud roads to zero, gravel roads to zero as well, and let's build some vehicles. Uh, let's get some vehicles. Let's just get four of these. Uh, do we have fuel in there? No, we don't. Perfect. This is exactly how Veltir wants it. Uh, Veltir wolt. That means Veltir wills it. He wills it this way, and I agree. Uh, we're going to have more trucks on the roads. So we have technical services here. The question I have for you guys, this is technical service for eight vehicles. I think it's Raytheon's. I'm sorry if I'm, um, I'm, uh, I'm not uh, attributing this to a proper person, but um, uh, this is eight vehicle uh, technical service. It has three garages here. It has some probably just uh, equipment office or something like that. Um, so we have these technical uh, services and we have the Robses one. Robses one is huge. It's bigger. It has proper offices. It's obviously more expensive and um, it looks like a proper uh, building. It looks a little bit more modern. It doesn't look like it fits in 1960s, but uh, this is what we have. Okay, so what do you guys think about this? Should I be using something age appropriate or should I be using size appropriate? Because even in 1960s, not sure if they should be without any offices. Maybe they should. I know a little hometown of mine actually has something similar to this where they keep the uh, salt spreaders and the plows, snow plows. Uh, it, it doesn't look that big. And I think the... I think the offices are in the city council, actually, rather than here. So people working in this building are actually working. I mean, like uh, administration is actually here in. Uh, well, it's not here. We need we don't have a city hall, right? We need to build a city hall. Right. OK, so we have what we have. We have a little bit higher unemployment, which is great because we need those people to work in the industries. But we're going to have to focus on the construction now. Uh, we have all the offices here. You see, they're working. They're even delivering people. This is perfect. They're laying asphalt. This is going to be really, really great. Uh, I'm going to go for the last construction office that we need here. We need the footpath construction office. This is my favorite one because everybody hates it. So I will love it. Uh, footpath, I'm going to go for... Let's go for 16 vehicles. Uh, 16 vehicles. That's going to be because we're going to have big buses for this. Ooh, No, 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 we're going to have small buses. Actually, I have no idea what buses we're going to have. But we're going to auto-build this one, even though we have everything that we need to build it. Um, why don't I just 
go back to this one. And here, this is simple. We just need dumper trucks, which is going to be small ones. I'm going to go for Škodas. Again, my favorite dumper trucks, because these Tatras are just absolutely enormous. Uh, these are more size appropriate and we're gonna have buses I'm gonna go for small Polish micro buses all the way and that's it and now we're gonna go and cancel all of these the only things that he needs is footpaths <clears throat> and that's it uh, everything else is gonna manually be assigned okay and now footpaths need only one thing footpaths need just the gravel let's go and assign gravel Let's assign gravel and, uh, oh, right, they need the people as well. So here we go, gravel and people. Okay, so we have, I think, all of our construction set up. And uh, let me see how we're doing time-wise. Uh, time-wise, we're doing, I think we're doing great. We have eight and we have six. Yeah, we have we have 15-ish minutes to go. Okay, so I built this off screen. I'm going to be junk cutting through the nights. Um, and we're going to be only uh, recording during the days. So this should be working decently. But uh, let's start checking messages these days. This stopped production. Why did you stop production? Because I have no idea. I don't think it should be people. But okay, it's no longer a thing. Health risk, sewage tank overfilled. We were missing people working here, and I don't know why. I thought that these guys will be transporting workers. Yeah, I did not allow workers to be transported. That's a problem. So we have one heating plant not working. How are we doing with population? Let's see. Coffee time. Okay. Um, let's remove all these messages. Um, population wise we're gonna go here and see all we have deaths 220 births uh, 485 we have a problem with this one not being supplied by workers I can uh, do outrageous wait what about this one where are the workers coming from these because they're not connected as well they should be going from the ah no they're getting it from here that's fine that's fine we can get um since this is a public transport maybe i should no i'll, I'll do it like this i'm gonna buy a micro bus uh, that's gonna be like this and we're gonna be supplying workers to the heating plant there we go and off you go Okay, um, this should be supplying enough workers. I think the rest of the heating plants are working eh, decently enough. You can see the water tank here or the heat exchanger uh, is uh, almost at 90 degrees. So this is kind of at the limit. We're going to have to expand the number of workers we have. But I think one of the first projects that we're going to build on our own will be the heating plant itself. Now, before we do that, you remember that we had a financial issue uh, in the middle of, in the... <clears throat> In the meantime, I added some money because we are still in the world building series. I will go and build a depot. We have a substation here, and I think a depot space is probably the best to build, be built here. Can I can I make it look nice? I doubt it, but um, <clears throat> what I wanted to do, I was looking at this um, uh, like um, oh, well, this is not bad. I can actually make it here. Okay, let's build a depot here. So we're gonna go for normal railroad depot. I'm gonna build the. Uh, I'm gonna build this one. Can, do I want to construct it on my own? Uh, no, no, actually. Uh, wait, what? Maybe? Is it maybe? Do I hear myself saying maybe? Maybe I do hear myself saying maybe. If we build this on our own, that's gonna be great achievement for our republic. Um, <clears throat> a couple of things I would like to build here also on my own would be road connections from this industrial area. Some bridges here, bridge somewhere around here uh, near the power plant, maybe even here. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, try planning for that. Let's try planning for that. I think this is going to look marvelous. I think it's going to look great. Come on, can you level it? No, it doesn't look leveling it. Doesn't like leveling it. So if I build it like all the way here, yeah, construct this, and then bridge over the river. How high is this? Oh, look, I, I chose the proper side, like banks. Looks like there's an embankment here and there. So if we build a bridge there, uh, it's going to look all nice. So let's see if we can build a red bridge. I think red bridge is going to fit here perfectly. Something like this. 
and then road all the way uh oh no 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 we have a problem here okay let's go f1 twice there we go um road is gonna have to go here i think i'm gonna have to build another bridge because i don't think we're gonna be able to we can go over the railroad yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go for the over the railroad tracks like directly come on Yeah, it's an old times, good old times. So we're building a bridge here for uh, like a bypass to the city. So all these industrial vehicles don't have to go all the way around. Uh, I think we, this might be out of range though. Let's remove the mechanism and see the range. Yeah, it's out of range. So I'm going to go manually assign the groundwork office here. And I'm going to assign straight away the construction office. Oh, sorry. This is a footpath office. Oh, night. Right, daytime, daytime, we're back. So let's see what we have the time-wise. We have, we have 10-ish minutes to go. Uh, so, the, so the first projects we're gonna go and build here. The first projects are gonna be the, sorry about that, I still have Coco here uh, with me. <laughs> so if he's bothering us, also, I apologize, but the chirping bird. Right, so uh, this is what we're gonna build on our own, but I will also build the additional infrastructure here, but I'm gonna construct it automatically. Uh, so that would be the access to the, uh, to the actual railroad. So let's build it like this. Um, like this, okay, that's nice, and like this, and can you be connected here? Yes, but that's a wrong one, uh, I didn't put it parallel to the initial one, so, and I'm gonna have to have electricity because, um, unfortunately, we just have electricity, there we go, and then in the opposite direction, come on, you can do it, okay, maybe it's a too sharp turn, what about this? Yeah, um, I, I don't mind doing this. This, this I don't mind. Like even if it's green like this, I don't mind doing this. But I think it's just too ugly. Uh, looks like this one is gonna have to be built from the opposite side. So I'm gonna try to build it first from this side because I think the other side is gonna be easier to build. So if I build it like this, that's our right hand side one. It goes to this one here, right? Yeah. So this one, and then the opposite one is gonna go here, and then can be connected. Uh, a little bit in this direction and a little bit let's go like this no it's not gonna work uh, i think they are too close to each other but it doesn't matter i think i can do this much easier like this here and then rotate it in this direction and then the opposite one goes here there we go and the second one goes in here. There we go. So this is this is something that I'm gonna have to, and I'm gonna have to buy this. So uh, just fun construct. Wait, wait, wait. We don't have to have the opposite directions. It doesn't have to. I I have to maybe uh, put it away. So I'm gonna go and just pay for this like this. I need to maybe put away the trains. So and, and this is fine. I don't need any lighting here. Right, um, so uh, we have our railroad finished. We need to finish this uh, depot. I'm gonna slowly start building it on our own as well. It doesn't really matter. You can see here we have all the vehicles coming in here. Um, do I want? I don't want uh, um, uh, people to be delivered here at the moment. We don't want the people being delivered here at the moment, so I'm gonna leave it as it is. How much coal do we have stockpiled? Four and a half thousand tons. Uh, what is our production here? It doesn't say. It, this is the production. Production is around 40%. 40% of this. That would be like 80 tons per day. So I think like 300 tons trains would be decently sized. And what is the bottleneck here? Could be the mines. No, <clears throat> um, um, no, 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 no. Maybe it's uh, oh, look, they're jumping up and down. So yeah, it, it looks like it was people working here. The people working here. Now uh, we're gonna address the industries later. Coco, we're gonna address the industries later. But um, uh, for now, I'm gonna leave this as it is. I will be uh, uh, setting up the trains, but I don't think this is working as it should, especially because of the sewage and water and this kind of stuff. 
Right, so uh, let's slowly finish this off. Uh, we have the roads being constructed on our own. Uh, we need to plan for the heating plant. I'm gonna have to build a big heating plant with its own storage. Uh, probably I'm gonna try to build a little bit cleaner heating plant. So somewhere in this area, maybe even in this area here, we can build a heating plant because then we can use these people uh, to, to deliver workers over here. So maybe somewhere next to the bitumen plant for example or or maybe even in this empty em empty space here let's not be cheapskates with the space and let's go and well, we can plan it now and let, let me know what you think uh, we're gonna need big heating plant so big heating plant would be this one 210 gigajoules do we have any coal heating plants that are pretty big oh, i love these nuclear ones wood no This is only one gigajoule, 15, uh, these no, and then we have these will leave us, and we have this. This is the only thing that comes close to it, these, but I think they are too advanced. I think I'm gonna just go for vanilla. Uh, vanilla in this direction, uh, how, actually I need to check how far this is, 300 meters from, actually it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, it matters, the pipes. Um, 500 meters okay let's let's see uh this needs to be constructed on our own uh we can build it here but it's going to be out of range of people let's go t in this direction so something like this here and let's see how far it is from the city why am i saying far away from the city because uh, pipes can only be uh, one kilometer long and this is what the hell did i just do did I stop it here? Yeah, here we go. So this is where, uh, yeah, yeah, this looks like a perfect, this is 900 meters. We can actually connect it to this heat exchanger, which is uh, probably gonna be the furthest one we're gonna need. We're gonna have neighborhoods around here. We're gonna remove all the heating plants and we can have a couple of these. Okay, th this is perfect. So this is perfect place for our heating plant. And this can be, again, one of the first buildings we construct. We're gonna need cold storage. Are we gonna need cold storage? So let's go and deal with the storage. No, it's gonna be in conveyor belts. Uh, I'll go for this small one. This is cute one. I'll do, I'll go for this one, and I can deliver coal straight away there. Oh, and actually, it doesn't have to be. Let's do it. Uh, what if I do it like this, without connections? Build it here. And then go for conveyor belts, vanilla, I, let's go for vanilla, I don't use vanilla often enough, and uh, build it here, electricity should be connected, and we need unloading, uh, aggregate unloading, where is it? Here we go, this one here. It doesn't have electricity connection, but that's, that's the challenge as well. So if I build it over here, it should be fine. And then connect this to the roads. And this one is going to have to be asphalt from the get-go. I think this is still the... Um, and this one doesn't have to be. This one is going to be gravel. But you know what? Let's start on these uh, like this. Let's start on these gravel constructions. And here, this is, of, of course, mud is enough. But since we are s still pl in the planning stages, I'm going to put gravel so they can work on this. Here, we're going to need asphalt. Again, planning stages. Um, here we go. And construct it. And let me see. Please be in range. It's going to be in range. It's only 200 meters from here. It can, yeah, it, they're going to be able to walk from here to work. And the last thing I'm going to do in this episode is going to get the other bus, this one. And I'm going to go for uh, assigning. Where is this Škoda bus that everybody's talking about? Is you is? No, is you is or is you ain't my baby. Uh, here, this one, copy his schedule and assign it here. There we go. And off you go. There we go. So we have new plans. We are still world building. We're just world building on our own at the moment. So hopefully you guys don't mind that. Uh, pipes and stuff, we're going to do it in time. We need to start on those. I'm going to do it probably in the next episode. But anyway, um, that's it for now. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. You know the, you know the deal. Um, happy uh, Monday. It's going to be horrible for me, but uh, hopefully it's going to be better Tuesday tomorrow. Have a nice day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.